Hi, and welcome to Coastal Update, presented to you by Remax of Gulf Shores. This is our six-month report for the single-family market along the beautiful Alabama Gulf Coast. All the data we've gathered is from the Baldwin County Association of Realtors database. It's really hard to believe, but 2014 is halfway over, and here we are in July. This report is for the area we call Pleasure Island, consisting of Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Fort Morgan, and Perdido Key in Florida. Here's inventory. It was on the constant rise for the first four months of 2014, but now it's stabilized, and we're just about seven or eight percent ahead of where we were last year as far as number of homes that show as active or under contract on the market. Here are home sales over the last two years on a month-by-month -month basis. And if you just take a quick look at this chart, you'll say, whoa, home sales really catapulted in the month of June with 71 sales. But a little further investigation shows that there were 22 sales in a subdivision called River Point, which is modular homes, and they were all foreclosures on exactly the same date, selling just over $27,000. And that's not representative of our market. So we're going to delve into that in just a moment and show you how the market behaved not counting those 22 sales. Here's our average sales price year to date from the first six months. Look at 214 at the beginning of the year rising all the way to 335,000 in the month of June. So home sales have definitely been on the rise throughout 2014. Here's the six, first six months of sales as it compares to 2013. Now we took out those 22 River Point foreclosures. So that's the asterisk after the 264. So when you look at the first six months, virtually identical to last year's sales. But prices are up, all indicators are up. 321.9 every sales price versus just under 300 last year. That's about an 8.5% gain. Median price, meaning half the sales were above that number and half were below at 259. That's 18% higher than last year's 220,000. And the average dollars per square foot, a good barometer we like to use to gauge across all price ranges, up 11% to $145 a square foot. Now the distress number, we didn't take those 22 foreclosures out of that, represents a, more than half of those 40. Distressed, short sales and foreclosures has virtually become non-existent in our market today. We look at demand by looking at under contract and pending units at any point in time. And on July 1st, we looked at it and found 58 units. And that speaks to the units that we can see closing in the next month or so. So in summary, inventory has stabilized. And all indicators are up. Average dollars per square foot, median price, average sales price, all indicate a very healthy home sales market. But most importantly, you have to know the numbers. If you just took a cursory glance and saw those 71 units, you'd say, whoa, home sales skyrocketed. And while they are up, there were so many foreclosures that you really needed to know the numbers. And that's why we suggest you use an expert, like the Remax of Gulf Shores expert that sent you this video. If you're thinking about selling a home anywhere along the Alabama Gulf Coast, we'd love to be the realtor that helped you. And if you're thinking about buying a home, we're great at that. So please give us a call so that we can help you through that important decision. Most importantly, we hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching and have a great day.